नमस्ते हंगरी एपिसोड सो टुडे आई एम इन द ऑस्ट्रियन सिटी ऑफ इंसब्रू व्हिच लाइज एट द फुट हिल्स ऑफ ऑस्ट्रियन एल्प्स व्हिच यू कैन सी राइट बिहाइंड मी बिफोर आई टेक यू अराउंड द सिटी टू शो यू हाउ ब्यूटीफुल इट इज एंड हाउ वीगन फ्रेंडली एंड वेजिटेरियन फ्रेंडली इट इज लेट मी टेल यू सम फैक्ट्स अबाउट द सिटी सो दिस सिटी इज द फिफ्थ लार्जेस्ट इन द कंट्री एंड आल्सो द कैपिटल सिटी ऑफ टायरल रीजन ऑफ ऑस्ट्रिया this city uh, is a famous winter uh, sport destination among europeans and it was actually selected for two of the winter olympics of 64 and 76 the city also offers a great mix of modern and imperial architecture and uh, it has some beautiful buildings from 1800s 1900s and a beautiful hofburg palace which you can see right behind me here I am going to take you around the city and to this palace in the coming videos. So I arrived in Innsbruck uh, around midday, and I am really very hungry. Before I take you around the city to show you how beautiful this city is, uh, I am going to go to the first vegan place. So I just got down from the bus and have reached the place where my accommodation is. It is 15 minutes outside the uh, city center, but uh, it's a very beautiful place, very calm, very quiet. And let's walk towards my accommodation. So I checked into my Airbnb, left my luggage there, and going back to the city center. So I'll take you around the city now. So now we are entering the Altstadt of Innsbruck, which is the old city center. Altstadt uh, in German means old city center. Yes guys this is the famous golden roof of Innsbruck I do not understand what is the hype about it is just a simple roof which is golden in color Oh my god it was such a disappointment 
city of Innsbruck lies on the either side of river Inn and one should surely come to this bridge to get the most beautiful view of the river and the city around. There is some kind of flea market along the river and I'm going to just go there and check out what all they sell here. There are some um, bar stands, some cafes, some balloons for kids and a lot of beer gardens. So beer gardens uh, are basically the open spaces where they serve beer in summers. These are not uh, uh, present in winters. So basically it's kind of a small uh, market that all the cities around Germany, Austria, Switzerland uh, comes up with uh, in summers. And basically they have a lot of beer stands uh, beer gardens uh, where locals come and chill together. <laughs> this is Market Hala. Market Hala is nothing but a hall where uh, local producers uh, come here to sell their fresh produce. Uh, to the people in the city, Market Hala uh, we usually have a lot of uh, local varieties of wine, beer, cheese, uh, fresh vegetables, fruits and all the stuffs like that. So it's almost uh, 7 o'clock and uh, I had a reservation in one of the vegan restaurants for my dinner but it's raining very very heavily and uh, I had to take a refuge in one of the cafes in Market Hala itself. Uh, so I'm just waiting for the rain to stop and then I'll go for uh, my dinner. So in the meantime let's talk about uh, how safe is the city. Uh, uh, Austria as a whole is a very safe country. It uh, in fact uh, ranks uh, somewhere in the top uh, as uh, one of the safest city, uh, countries in the world. And uh, similarly, uh, the city of Innsbruck is also very safe. I haven't come across any uh, bad patches or shady areas where one should be extra careful or one should be aware of. So as per me, I found the city very solo friendly. Now coming to the money part, I think which is the most important thing uh, when you are traveling. So uh, if you uh, compare uh, Austria uh, to Switzerland or France, it is very cheap. However, if you compare it with the countries like Germany or Poland, uh, you will find that country uh, and city of Innsbruck in uh, particular uh, is little expensive. But uh, just stay away from the uh, main uh, market square uh, for any coffees, beers or wines. They are overly priced there. Uh, try and uh, walk to uh, you know, side alleys or a little away from the city center and you can find the same coffee uh, for 2.5 euros which you will find for 4 euros in the city center. So I'm going to uh, you know, enjoy one of my cappuccinos while it rains and uh, I hope uh, it turns out to be good.
so guys the rain finally stopped and i was able to come to the dinner place which is green flamingo and uh, whatever you saw just now it's already in my tummy because i am starving i walked around 17000 steps since morning uh, since i left home so i was really really hungry so i ate it all uh, the portions are too huge so you may want to you know share it with someone but since i was too hungry i had it all so uh, what i ordered was lasagna and this is the first time that i had a vegan lasagna with all plant based cheese and i must say that i didn't feel the difference i i could not find a you know a hint of that it is not made with a normal cheese but with a plant based cheese it was really uh, yum uh, it was really soft very rich in texture and uh, i could feel every ingredient uh, that was put into it and along with that i ordered a mocktail uh, which is kind of okayish i would uh, suggest don't go for their mocktails rather you know pick something else from the drinks menu and uh, though uh, my stomach is full but as you know by now i cannot resist a dessert so i have ordered a uh, uh, raspberry hazelnut cake and it looks very beautiful uh, let me just taste it and uh, let you know how does it taste I must say even on a you know full stomach I am finding this cake really really tasty and they have uh, put some you know uh, vegan cream uh, along with it and a slice of orange so overall this meal costed me around 20 euros but every bit of it um, is worth it except this uh, mocktail So now I'm going uh, back to my Airbnb, sleep for the night, and tomorrow I'll take you to some more interesting places around the city, and some more of vegan and vegetarian food. So see you in the next part of Innsbruck video. Bye bye.